I think my collar was jacked the whole time. But if I really like this video, I'm not reshooting it. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Isn't this red pretty? It's Rihanna's, it's so pretty. I've had it on for about eight hours. I've eaten, I've drank, <laughs> I've been out in the streets. I'm just playing, but I've, I've, I've been doing the most and it is popping. Anyway, hi, welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. I just wanna to talk to you really quickly about self care. I feel like a lot of us do too much we do entirely too much for way too many people, and we don't take time to take care of ourselves. Especially when you are a believer, I think that we tend to feel like if someone asks us something or, or asks a favor, that we can't say no. And that's just not true. We can say no, and they have to be okay with that. You, We have to like really tap into you know our whole, the Holy Spirit and be like, do they really need me to do this or are they just, you know, can they find somebody else? Um, whatever that self-care means to you. My self-care is getting my nails done. I do my own hair. I do my own makeup. I do my own eyebrows. I wax my own legs. I wax my, like I do all of that stuff. So my self-care is getting my nails done. Um, I don't really watch a lot of TV, but when I do watch TV, like my mom and I love Perry Mason. We watch Perry Mason every night. <laughs> like that's like our thing. You know what I mean? Like take time to self-care, take care of yourself. I have, I've been really researching and, and really um, learning more about the Sabbath and why it's so important to take a Sabbath. And I've been really trying my hardest to do Saturdays. And when I tell you guys, when I have my Saturday Sabbath, I feel so awesome. Like I just lay in the bed or I lay in the couch and, and, and talk to God like all day and I chill. And the first time I did it, my friend had a birthday party that night. And when I got up to go, like, I don't even know the rules. Like, cause this one lady I follow, she's always like doing videos and stuff on the Sabbath. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, let's supposed to go to the party on the Sabbath. Am I not? I don't know. I have to, to I, working it out, y'all, working it out. But by the time I went to her house, um, I felt I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel like, oh, I don't feel like getting dressed. I don't feel like going to LA. I, I didn't feel any of that because I had rested, like rest, like God says to rest, like he rested, like we have to rest. We go so much and we go so hard that we don't take care of our bodies. And we wonder why we have heart disease, we have high blood pressure, we have um, diabetes, we have all this stuff going on with our bodies. Like as much as eating great and exercising is good for our bodies, rest and recovering is just as good for our bodies. Like God made our bodies to re, um, I say regenerate. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Mm. But he made our bodies to heal itself. So healing, a lot of healing comes in our sleep. So if we're not getting proper rest, then we can't function. I know if I don't get my proper rest, I'm not getting up one time. I'm not getting my Bible. I'm not in my God time. I'm not in my word time. I'm not in my worship time. I'm not because I'm tired because I'm trying to get as much sleep in as I can before I leave to go about my busy day. And that's just not the way God created us to be. Like if we're too busy to spend time with him or if we're too busy to get to bed on time or we're too busy we're, we're busier than he ever intended us to be if we can't get to sleep in, on time to get up to spend time with him i'm preaching to myself because i have not been doing it like i'm supposed to i've been doing it but not at the time that he's required me to so, so yeah guys let's just take care of ourselves don't don't we don't have to do everything that everyone asks us to do it's okay to say no there one there was one day i think it was the first day i did my sabbath where my phone would ring and i was not answering it and then if they would text me i would look at it and if it required an immediate text i would text back but i wasn't texting i, I just wasn't responding to anybody i think the this technology age has it to where we just respond so quickly that if you don't, people are like, oh, you can't respond to me in time. No, I was busy. I was doing something. I was sleeping. I was on the toilet. I was in the shower. Whatever it is, I was sitting on the couch watching TV and my phone was off. 
That's all I was doing. It's nobody's business. It's nobody's business. It's not. And guess what? I don't feel bad about that anymore. I used to. I used to feel really bad about that. But I'm not making anyone else's crisis my problem. It's your crisis. It's your problem. It's not mine. And it's not to be heartless, but we will run ourselves ragged trying to help everybody before we help ourselves. I used to do that all the time. All the time. Yeah, guys. So let's just take care of ourselves. I'm not saying to be mean to people or to be like, F this. Bump that. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. I'm not saying that at all, guys. I'm saying do not overwork yourself. Do not do too much. I think my collar was jacked the whole time. But if I really like this video, I'm not reshooting it. Hmm, should have checked that before. Anyway, let's keep ourselves together. Because how are we going to do the work for the kingdom if we're not together ourselves? If we're tired and run down and raggedy because we don't do stuff for everybody else throughout the week. Mm -mm. Make sure you are taken care of first. Mind, body, soul, spirit. Make sure we are eating healthy. Make sure we are getting our exercise in. <clears throat> Make sure we are spending time with God. That is number one. Spending time with him. Whew. He has been on my heart for like the past couple of weeks. Just We got to not worry about people so much and worry about ourselves and that's not being selfish I just know a lot of people who worry about others before they worry about themselves and then they're run down and raggedy used to be that person not anymore and people will get mad you might lose some folks happens and not lose you might just get you know further away from some people which that happens it's fine but yeah not let folks take advantage of us make sure we are getting our self-care our mental our mind like our minds need to be sharp and ready to minister to work to do the work of the lord or preach the gospel be on these streets evangelizing whatever it is god's called you to do um yeah so i love y'all and i will see you next week bye Unless I do a hair video, I might do a hair video because my hair has grown out so much and my Bantu, my old Bantu design, um, pattern, it just falls on my face. So I do it differently. So I may do that this week, maybe for Freestyle Friday, but I love y'all and I will talk to you soon. Bye.